Right. I played a couple of games today, and I came, like, second, then, f like, fifth. Like, the fifth one was because I tried to go mages, and I, I matched against the same assassin guy, like, six rounds in a row, and I just got smashed every time, because he was, like, so massively leveled as an assassin, which was a pain in the ass to deal with, of course, as you might think. We'll see what we go this game. I like I like to be Witcher as a unit. I just think he's a good one cost. Oh. No items though. It's, it's like it's telling me to go Glacier Clan, but I can't freeze this, unfortunately. But I will just pick two of them up. I don't know if this is good enough to beat the second. I don't know if this is good enough to beat this is kinda of sad. I don't know if he's good enough to beat the second one. We'll see. It might not actually be good enough to be the second one. This might be one of those combos in the game where it's just actually just not good enough to be the second one. Oh, it should be, actually. We should be good. Let's go, Defector. Took me forever, but we did it. Okay. We're gonna sell him, unfortunately. And I know you—I know you might be upset, but that's because I want to do this. No, ah, oh, never mind. We we tried, boys. He's got some of the best level one stats in the game, um. So good to have him. Wow, all these magic crystals—they're actually actually too much. I shouldn't—I shouldn't complain because magic crystal is actually a pretty good item. I'll give one to her, pre so far. Insufficient funds. Right, we're, we're getting rid of you, Defector, and then we're going to go, boom, rank up. Uh, and then I'm going to stick. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stick him on like that. Give him that, give him that. Want, I want the healing. Just give me all the healing. That's like a super healing comp. Where are you going? Oh, he got taunted. Okay. I always wonder with that. Like, they get taunted. I'm like, what's going on? The healing's good enough to keep them up. Is he going to get his... He's going to get his healing off again? Yeah, see, this is the, the ultimate healing comp. And she's got 121 damage early on, so that's not too bad. Even though she's got a very slow attack speed, which is annoying. We could be going feathered this game. That's definitely something that could be happening. Let's pick up Queen of Pain for the time being. I could bring her on in a bit. I could have leveled up for now, but I don't like leveling up early. I like to buy some things. I've been consuming drink at the speed of light. Oh, my phone's nearly dead. Guys, my phone is nearly dead. Okay, they've got uh, a lot of good things. And they went to level 5, which is... That's going to be a pain, because they've got a lot of good things. This guy's this guy's not losing the early game, that's for sure. Yikes, took 6 damage from that as well. I didn't really have a very high damage composition. Mine was more sustain heavy. So versus a high damage composition, I probably wasn't in a good spot. Okay, so boom, boom, yes. And then we want this, yes. And then we would like him, yes. Which does mean that we can't, <laughs> we can't again go level 5, but that's fine. I'll happily take that for the level 2s that I was offered. This is like a basic uh, position, by the way. Beefy boys in the front, less beefy people in the back. Ooh, yikes. This this is uh, this could be a tense one. Hopefully we've got the healing to get us through. Also, he's just got 187 damage. 187 damage at level 2, you know, with the beast buff as well, is actually insane. That's, I, just, I really rate this guy. I really rate Abyssal Guard in general. I think Abyssal Guard is actually just legit good.
So I'm going to bring Queen of Pain in because I think she's just a better, one of the better two-cost units in the game. I don't feel comfortable bringing on my Feather just yet. I know I'm missing out buying a Tusk Champion here, but I'm probably not going to have Tusk Champion forever this game. So we are going like dru Druid Feathered to begin with. Oh, he's got a two-star. Whisper Seer. I want her to do the damage. Yeah, she deals the damage. The insane healing with Warpwood Sage is nice. Okay, now we build a win streak. Now we're just going for that win streak. Oh, it's like you want me to go Hunter. Well, I give myself the option. I'm giving myself the option to go Hunter. Um, does this mean that we take her out and put her in, though? I think that we, I think that we do. Can't, it means I can't get to level 6 on the next level, but if I, I'm in a good enough position, I'll just go level 6 at next level. I think we go. I think we just put a Gersis Ranger on. Even though the Queen of Pain's got like a lot of damage, ulti, I think that just the more consistent damage is going to be good. Yeah, this is fine. Healing should be fine. They reduce the armor. Agursus Ranger works really well with reduction of armor, obviously being Agursus. This is the guy that minced me earlier, right? Well, that's nice. We're, we're back on track. Remember what I said about just getting level 2s on the board? Like, just getting a level 2 on the board is always going to be good for you. Do you know what? We'll buy Tusk Champion, and then we'll level up to level 6. What do we want to bring on? I think we just bring on Queen of Pain, right? Bring her on behind, in the middle, so she can get the most damage off. Could bring on um, McDude. He's actually pretty strong. Let's bring on McDude. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys to the corner in a second. Because I'm at that point in the game where actually going for the mid-game ladder strategy is probably going to be good. He's got really good single target burst damage. Let's see who he kills. He's going to kill her. And she didn't even get to cast his ult. I don't even think his ultimate hit. Is he just going for the... Anyone going for the strategy? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them into the corner like this. I want his ultimate to go off. Like this. So that's fine. This is a good like ladder strategy. Um, they like take the position of t like you do you do it like a diagonal ladder like this. Um, it just gives you a consistent engage pattern versus most people. Um, the oh yeah of course. There are situations where it wouldn't work, but it just it just gives you a consistent engage pattern, which is nice. I need to stop buying things, but like I'm probably not bringing Queen of Pain back right now, so we'll run with her not being here. Shield and Rune Hammer. I don't know who I want to give my Rune Hammer to yet. It could be Lightblade Knight. It could be a Gersis Ranger. We could be going Hunters. We could be going Feathered. We could be doing a mix of both. In fact, we're probably doing a mix of both, if I'm, if I'm honest. We've been set up to be able to do a mix of both. Yeah, we we definitely have been set up to do a mix of both, yeah. So, let's take her off. Let's put him on. I want to give this to him. I want to give this to him. And I'll buy that. I need to start saving gold, but I'm, I'm in a situation right now where I am a chonky, chonky player. I am I am chonk. Um, the, the other thing that I need to consider is if I'm going hunter, I probably need to get myself this dude. I need to get myself skull hunter at some point. Oh, he's got the win streak bonus going. It 
it needs to stop giving me things that I want to buy. That's the, that's the problem. It's giving me things that I want to buy. He's going, right? We're getting rid of him, right? Ah, uh, but he's so cute. We want to keep him because he's cute. Okay. So there is the real chance that we're going to go Feathered Hunter here. Feathered Hunter. But we need to get that win streak going, baby. We need to get that win streak going. Okay, random Thunder Spirit in the back. But we're still winning, so that's fine. Luke got smashed by me, which is sweet, because he was one of the guys who was doing really well early. How's everyone's economy looking? Uh, no one else really respecting. There's a couple of guys. Don't want anything. Ah, oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Never mind. Could be worse, I suppose. We're only losing one or two gold at this point. He is respecting, he is res re respecting the, uh, the gold grind. Don't want any of that. Oh, I can't believe I put experience in. I mean, it might work out okay. I'm still winning. I've still got win streak bonus. I don't. I don't really see anyone beating me. I mean, he's got a razor claw. That is slightly scary. He's also got venomancer, so the, the the goblin bonus there. I think we. I think we still win. I think we still. We're still fine. The healing that we've got going on right now is just too, too much. <sighs> okay. Sell him. Pick up that. Hmm. I think we're in an okay position. I think we're fine. Let's have a look at economies. 35. Okay, he's he's rolled a little bit. He's rolled a little bit. He must have done, because otherwise he would be much higher than 35 at this point. Uh, the healing's going down. He is going to start healing too. Yeah, I think we've got enough healing going on where this isn't going to be an issue. There isn't really any synergies versus the guys. This is the guy that's the lowest in the, in the, uh, in the game right now. Just gonna just gonna write it out. So how's your guys' day day been? How's your guys' day been? Has it been good? My day's been pretty good. I haven't had the best auto chess day. I watched Claytano play all day though. I won a couple of games this morning. And then I lost well, I didn't lose. I came third and then no second and then fifth. So fifth wasn't great. I lost a cup a bit of Elo. Uh second got me a decent amount. I'm like close to Bishop. If I can get Bishop out, oh I forgot to position. Every time I do this, it's it's actually just embarrassing now. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's actually embarrassing um, how much I forget to position for the wolves. And it's specifically for the wolves. When I'm when I'm making a, a video, especially when I'm playing by myself, it doesn't matter. Like, like literally no difference. When I'm... When it's for a video, I'm actually just playing brainless. I got a lot of stuff here, though. Not stuff that's particularly beneficial to my composition not yet anyway uh, this will be good for siren this will be good for tide hunter and also wind ranger do we want to give kappa to anyone i mean just give it to her i guess life crystal to my warpwood sage to make him a tonky boy other than that i'll save those two because i want to save it for wind ranger and i want to save it for um Siren or Tidehunter? We've got so much HP to work with. This guy is level 7 and has a very scary lineup. Because he's also got 
Soul Reaper. No, my chunky boy's down. I think we might end up losing. The, I mean, my, my backline survived for quite a long time. I think we might end up being okay. But this guy is... Uh, no, we're not. We're not okay. We're, we're anything but okay. That's my win streak over. Just as I hit 50 gold. But he's also spent so much gold, surely. He's at 20 gold. Okay. I can level up now. I can bring my win ranger on. And there we go. And then I can also buy her. So now I've got the I've got the feathered bonus and I'm almost I'm almost at um Right, well I think we sell him and bring on this. It was nice while we had you. Naja, dude. This guy has got a lot of mechs. And he's got the goblin synergy going too. With one random Doom Arbiter. Yikes. Yikes. That is actually yikes though, because those things have a really quick generating ultimate and they did a lot of damage, especially when you've got a low number of people on the field. Okay. That's freed up a little bit of space. I'm just going to roll because I want to get to level 8 quickly. That is what we wanted. So, let's bring her on. Let's give her that. Let's bring him him off. Let's put her... There we go. That's better. We want her to take damage. We want her to take damage and cast her ultimate quickly. And she's not taking any damage. But we have got that thing which makes her increase her mana regen, regen. So that should be good. He's going mages, which will be good because I'm eventually going to get Tide Hunter, or at least I hope. And we're going for Feathered. Now, actually, the interesting thing is I'm probably going to have to get rid of my Lightblade Knight if I'm going for this strategy. Fine. I'm fine with that, but that's something we're going to have to do, I think. Not gonna roll like crazy here. We're still in a great position, so just invest into XP. If you're if you're winning and you don't really feel like you need to upgrade unless you're desperately searching for a piece, just like invest in XP. We want him to level three. We want to get rid of her for something eventually. We want the beast synergy for now. Probably get rid of her for Razor Claw. I know, like, what do we we could go for the cave clan synergy frontline. Um, but this guy's kind of already got it. Is this the guy that gave me trouble? This is Luke. Okay, this is Luke. I need to get a really, really big uh, Siren Ultimate off here. Oh, that that did that was a massive. Uh... What's Luke's economy like? He's got great economy. He's level seven, and yeah, that was just uh, a really, really good pirate captain ult. That's fine though. Really would like to get Taboo Witcher to level three. The one two actually. Um, so I'm actually going to sell him because he's probably going to go eventually. Roll once more. Wind Ranger level three. There we go. We do. Th I do need to think about getting rid of Light Blade Knight eventually. Unfortunately, I think that's just how there's too much backline DPS. Like, I'm just going to have way too much backline DPS if I then also bring on the sniper. Um, so, Lightblade Knight is going to have to go, and I need to find a replacement. That replacement is probably going to be the uh, summoning guy that I can never remember the name of. Uh, another Kappa. Love myself a Kappa. Give it to him. She's doing a lot of DPS right now, though. I'm not getting much... Um, Offensive stuff like offensive uh, items, not getting many offensive items. This guy, Whisper Seer, it's gonna have to be him eventually. Hmm. Do we just bring him on? Like at the back here, bring him on. Bring her up like that. 
probably like this. This is probably how we do it. Um, I could have actually put my uh, taboo witcher on actually. I think we still should be pretty good. Do we do we need to get rid of Lightblade Knight? I mean, yeah, I think we. I mean, we'd have to be level. We'd have to be level ten to make this work if we wanted to go full. Um, feathered, light, uh, feathered, and uh, hunter. Well, we don't have to go full feathered hunter. Of course, we don't have to go full feathered hunter. Siren, razor claw. Um, kind of want to put him on instead of her. Or should I just put him on instead of her? Rank up, rank up, rank up! Yikes. That did not go the way that I wanted it to go. And as such, it may have lost me the game. Because he's got a level 3, this dude. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a tanky bear. No, it's over. Oh, that was awkward. I thought I'd be able to rank up in time. That's fine for the time being, but I'm still really salty about that. I'm so salty about that. That's so annoying. Oh, yikes. That is a massive yikes. We can sell him for something, right? We don't need him as much anymore. The question is, what do we put in for him? I would usually put um, him if I had him leveled up. He would go in if I had him leveled up, but I don't. I need to build myself back up to 50 gold. Went on a crazy spending spree there, which shouldn't have happened. I should be able to get her back to level 2. I need to increase my APM at this game. I need to use the hotkeys, if I'm honest. I've got hotkeys set up. Like, this brings up the... There we go. So that shuts down enemy demons. That's a feathered. Will I miss the healing though? I don't think I will. I need to get some more um, these dudes on the board. And I, th I am slowly coming around to the fact that I probably have to get rid of my light blade now. But then I donate all my stuff over to a Gersis Ranger. This guy's again got lots of stuff. Did he kill my Agosis Ranger? He did. And my Siren stays alive though, but for how long? Ah, he also silenced my uh, Razor Claw, which meant I was dealing no damage. Oh, yikes, that hurt. I will take another Razor Claw, for sure. But I'm gonna wait. I'm just going to wait. I need to get that economy back up and going. Do I reposition stuff? I kind of want to get him in a position where he's actually going to uh, attack something relevant. She probably needs to go, unfortunately. She probably does. I'll replace her next round for something, but I don't know what I want to replace her for. Um, probably uh, lots of things I could replace her for. They weren't even looking. Please give me something relevant in terms of DPS. Please give me something relevant. She's going. Magicka staff. Combinable on who? Alright. I'll put 
put my dwarf on instead of her, I think. Goodbye, sweet friend. So I'll give that to him, and I'll give that to her. Bit of XP in. Nice. Still haven't found myself a siren. I'm being so heavily punished for screwing that up. If I had hadn't screwed that up, I'd have a level two siren to work with right now. I might need to fit the undead combo in somewhere. Uh, the reason being is just that if I'm going up against a tanky warrior dude like this, I need to I need to shred some uh, I need to shred some armor. So I, I do like to fit him in with the Gaius Ranger. Um, it's just it makes it an expensive build. Just, just for the time being, okay. I don't know how much I want to roll here. Problem is I can't afford. Okay, he's kind of tanky. I mean, I need to split my DPS up on the back line. You see, I just got a, a ridiculous, like I just got a like absolutely slammed. I need to split my DPS up a little bit more. Don't really care about Unicorn. I do care about Warpwood Sage, however. I'm gonna split my DPS up slightly. Like this. So I'm going to go, I want him more central, like this. I want him to tank a bit more. Oh my gilly gosh. I would, if I, if I actually had, oh my god. This monster, I need to reduce armor, I need to get a soul reaper in here. I'm going to take so much damage from this, this guy is, this guy is beastie. This guy is so beasty. I need to get a, I need to get a soul reaper in my comp somehow. Okay, so rank up, and then bring her on, and then rank up. Cool. Who else am I bringing on now? Him, just somewhere. Okay, that's fine. This is kind of okay, actually. I might go to the other corner, though, because the guy I'm struggling with is on my corner most of the time, right? I definitely need to get um, the Soul, Re Soul Reaper guy in my comp, though. I need the Undead Damage Reduction, or I, or I need, like, a Evil Knight in, but I think the healing guy would be good. Okay, rank up, rank up, don't need her anymore, um, who's this going to go on? Him, just get his ultimate out quickly. I really want, um, that, unpunished, unpunished! Now I need to get him to... I want to get to level 10. So I need to get to level 10 to... Hmm. It's a good question, actually. 
How do I fit that guy in my composition? I think I just need Tidehunter. I actually just think I need Tidehunter for the sole reason that... And she needs to be level 3. Okay, so him. Soul Reaper. Okay. I'm going to take him out for the time being and put him in. Probably bring him out. I probably don't need him, right, eventually, so I can get rid of him. Steel plate mail onto. I'll probably put that on my Tide Hunter. It is this guy. Please just cast your ult. Please cast it and do really good with it. That is Pog. I've split my DPS up, so they shouldn't all get hit by this. They did all get hit by this anyway. I'm probably going to have to split my DPS up in a different way. But the healing is the healing is going really well. Yes, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I wanted to get that win um, condition out. I just need to feel figure out who to sacrifice for the six hunter bonus. Gosh, we uh, there we go. Don't need that. I need one more Agassiz Ranger. Cool, that's nice, but it's not an Agassiz Ranger. <laughs> God, I'm missing an Agassiz Ranger. I've also not found Tide Hunter. Uh, rather, the. Um, Oh, you know what I mean. Not Tide Hunter. You guys know what I mean. Right, so I think I take out... Um, I think I take out this guy. Bring on him. Please? Just one? Just one. Just one. Oh my god. I just need one Agassiz Ranger. You ain't getting to level 3. Neither are you. Gimme Agassiz Ranger. Oh my god. Well, it's me versus Luke. So, I think I win anyway. Because Feedoc died somehow. Did he die to me? He must have died to me. The healing that I'm getting is just insane, and I got the ult off from my Siren as well. The reason I've got Siren in the front is because I just want her to get level, uh, hit, get her ultimate as soon as possible. Please don't kill me. He didn't kill me. That's good. I think I need to split my DPS up against this guy. I don't think I don't think I need to play this formation versus this guy. That's Tsunami Stalker. That's kind of what I want. Who do I sacrifice for it though? Though this guy, right? So, okay, this is what we're going to do. We want these guys in the front. We want these guys there. We want a DPS here, a DPS here. She's kind of my main DPS. So we're splitting him up. It's, D it's DPS in the back, front line in the front. We've got the magic resist now. I don't think we lose this. So now I, we shouldn't all get hit by the same mage ultimates. And I didn't even get my Tidehunter ultimate off. Feels good, man. Feels real good, man. B.I. Yeah, we shouldn't all get hit by the same ultimates, which is kind of the goal here. He beat me? Okay. We need to split everybody up. Thunder Spirit 2. Okay. I think I need to move over this further. I need, I need to engage him head on. He's in this corner, right? At least I still think he's in this corner. Yeah. We've got Pirate Captain too. That's pretty, that's pretty grim. Just one more against this ranger. Just one more. Is he level 10? He is level 10. Yikes. Ghost Blade. On to my against this ranger. <laughs> Do you know what would be good? 
and a guest stranger. That's what we wanted. Okay, so we're going to move over here. We're going to move like this. Um, and we're going to put those there. There, there. Actually going to move even further over like this. That's good. That's what we want. Because <sighs> I want to meet him head on and I don't want all of my DPS to be in the same place. So that's basically what I'm doing. Okay, so my Agurus Ranger is going to get stunned. Uh, I'm going to get the ult off. Is it good enough? That's the question. I don't know if it is. I think he's got a really, really, really powerful... Yeah, that's a really big... Think we lose to this? Think we lose? Oh, that was a draw. What am I even rolling for here? Do we split? Do we just split our stuff up? Like completely split our stuff up like this. I want my range to actually be fairly close because I want to engage as soon as possible. But I'm splitting because... Okay, this is better because I might actually get my Tidehunter ultimate off this time round. Nope. I think I'm going to get hit by a massive, massive ult. That's fine. But this is this has gone much better because we split, right? Luke, and he got beat by me because we split. Is he going to reposition? No, he's not. He's just going to stay where he is. He's not got much gold to work with. I don't think I get anything by... Yeah, I think by splitting... Oh, that is actually kind of grim. Yeah, that's kind of grim. And he has a siren in the back line, but I still think we're going to win. Yeah, because his, um, his Tortella Elder ult wasn't good enough. Let's have a look at his screen. I think we win. Yeah, we're, we're, we've got this, surely. Because cause I've got uh, my Razor Claw still going. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are truly a sage. Oh, I hate the, the translations. Okay, let's see. Did I hit a uh, night nine? No, we didn't hit night nine. We've got 38 points. We're close to night nine. And then we get bishop. When we get bishop this week, I hope. And then uh, on, to, on to rook. Which will be a lot harder, but I think we can do it with like... I think Hunter comps are probably just some of the best right now. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that was enjoyable. And hopefully you got a little bit about what I was doing with my positioning. Because obviously it's quite hard versus mages. But you want to... Essentially versus mages mostly want to split. Because they deal damage grouped up. Like they deal damage versus people who are grouped up. So that's why I split most of my... That's why I split most of my uh, comp up there. But that was good. Thanks guys. And uh, I'll see you soon.